All right, it's daily time. <laughs> oh, I'm two minutes and 20 seconds late to start the daily. Oh man, I'm behind on my schedule. But now let's start this up, it just started. And... It's random. We are Cool Looking Eyes. Cool Looking Eyes is a character I have not really played before. I guess Eyes isn't really a character I've played much of before. I, I understand how to use Eyes, I understand what makes him tick. You have to, you have to use his right click to reflect bullets. Reflect is not the right word. Deflect is a better word for it. It kind of curves them around you, like like, like in Gungeon when you have the uh, Fortune's Favor item. They kind of s s go around you, but sometimes it doesn't work correctly, and they still hit you anyways. But it's it's okay as far as active items go, active abilities anyways. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna take scarier face, and we're gonna try to use Eyes' right click to avoid damage whenever possible. And I'm probably gonna end up taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. You now these daily runs, it's not just about, it's not just about actually performing well. It's about experimentation. I will absolutely go with the wrench. It also pulls enemies towards us, so even though it's deflecting bullets, it's pulling enemies towards us, which can be kind of annoying, because we might get hit by enemies that do contact damage or that just rush us down. I wanna see if I can <laughs> really quickly fire a grenade, switch to the wrench, and then shoot it back. <clears throat> hey, perfect. Eyes, 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 or more eyes. Hmm, I think we're gonna take an eyes ability here. We'll take... You know, I've been taking Gamma Guts a little bit more frequently lately, and it's not bad, you know? It kills the birds in one hit, Sure, we'll take it. You know, a lot of enemies now, I can just kind of just walk into them. You know, um, freaking worms, these worms on the ground, I can just walk into these guys. It's a nice, satisfying It's a really nice, satisfying sound. I don't know if it's any good, but I mean, sure. Man. I still want to be shooting these guys though, because they can shoot me. We might as well kill them at range, but if we if we need to run into them, we can, and if they accidentally touch us later, those birds, those rats, they'll die instantly, so it's not bad, it's not bad. I will at some point, Slepnir, do another tips or advice video for, for Gungeon, as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, well. I like this, basically it's, um, does anything shoot me? If the answer is yes, we should hit them with the wrench. <laughs> oh, there's a dude. There's another one. Bam! Okay. <laughs> oh no, I hit the grenade launcher! We could have gone to the, to the secret floor! Damn it! That was dumb. You gotta be careful of these birds, though. As as much as cool as it is to kill them by walking into them, you know, you gotta think, hey, if I just swing my wrench at them, they're gonna die as well, and they won't shoot me accidentally. Well, I mean, they could still shoot me accidentally. You gotta be very careful. Screwdriver, pop rifle. Nope. Oh, that was it. There was a freaking chest. How do I get to the secret? Um, there is a sewer grate on the floor, and if you blow it up. You get a secret. You get a secret level. But I uh, didn't blow it up. I forgot about it in the last possible second. Like an idiot! Okay. Seeker pistol. You know what? 
That's not bad. It's very ammo efficient, which I like. Come on, get out of the wall. I don't know, um, uh, you know what? Eyes is pretty good against these guys, this kind of pulls them towards me. I can pull the, uh, the ammo boxes towards me too. I don't know, maybe it's, that's a mimic. No, it's not. I was just pulling it towards me. <laughs> it was just it was moving, and I'm like, it's gotta be a mimic. How long is this viable for? Wrench eyes. Hmm. Stronger telekinesis. You know what? Sure. Let's give it a shot. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. I th I thought that was gonna like save my life. Should work well against uh, against Big Dog here. Oh God, it's just, it's pulling the missiles towards me. Stronger telekinesis is not good, I don't think. <laughs> I'm already disappointed. Uh, we'll keep the seeker pistol, why not? We should have dropped the wrench unless we had scarier face, which we do have, okay. So I'm not screwed. Dude, the sound effect when you use eyes as telekinesis is so weird. It's like, he's like growling at me, listen. It's kind of nice because I can just pull everything towards me and then shoot it with the seeker pistol. I can keep bringing guns with me down to floors by just sucking them up. This is weird, this is weird. I love that sound. Yeah, he's just, it's like he, do, he doesn't actually have telekinesis, he's just going And the enemies are like, well, let's, let's just not tell him he doesn't have telekinesis powers, let's just walk towards him slowly Back muscle will take So if I, if I hit him once and then walk into those guys, they will die I wonder if they'll die if I just walk into them with scarier face. The dogs, yes. You know what? With full HP, I'm gonna try it. It works. We don't even have to kill those guys. They'll die instantly. I just have to focus on the dogs. This is the best. This is the best ability. You know, get away from me. I only worry about dogs these days. It's a dog's life for me. Come at me, bro. Wait, he hit me? Why did he hit me? Excuse me? Uh, that's not supposed to happen. I have uh, gamma guts. All right, let's 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 actually hit him once then. Maybe, maybe his attack hit me. His attack is not the same hitbox, hitbox as himself. I don't know, that was weird. That's very weird. I love the music in the in this area. It's so calming. I can't bring the gun down with me. No, it doesn't work. I'm 
pretty sh I mean, do these guys have randomized amounts of HP? I don't know. As long as I'm, I'm just hitting them, I'll, I'm safe from the contact damage mostly. I think we'll be fine. Let's play it safe. Rebuild our uh, Seeker ammo. Maybe they do have like a slightly randomized amount of HP or something. You shot me, I saw that. That's not... That's not the game fucking me. Oh. You know what? Come towards me. I have magical, mystical powers of I don't need the jackhammer, get away. I love that sound effect. Lightning shotgun. Uh, I don't think that's very good. I can't believe I'm still, you know, low on bolts even though I picked up back muscle a while ago. Rabbit's paw, absolutely. And now we go heavy on Seeker Pistol. Because we got we gotta kill things. Seeker, uh, lightning shotgun's not the best because it can only hit an enemy once, I think. But, um, it's good against crowds. Which is always nice. So maybe that's what we want. We just kind of walk into a group of enemies and go, Oh, God! That's a golden one. Let's be careful of the golden one. Nope! Thank you! At the very least, I think at this point, we can safely say that the wrench is now out of fashion. <laughs> as fun as it was. Gotcha. Yeah. That's the biggest problem with the, uh, the lightning shotgun, is that it can only hit an enemy, like, once. And it uses two ammo, which is not that not that much. So it is pretty good at crowd control. Overconfident you have become, hmm. Maybe, we'll see. Probably gonna be good on this floor though, because it does kind of pierce. So yeah, I think lightning shotgun is the way to go. It's sometimes hard to aim, it sometimes doesn't go where you want it to go, but it's still pretty nice. I'd really like a lightning seeker gun. That would be great. Oh, you know what? I don't need to worry about the the freaks. They'll die instantly when they touch me. Don't even waste your freaking ammo. Bam. Um, gotta kill this guy though. And if we're not worrying about crowd control, we can use the seeker. Okay, okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Splinter pistol, no. I think we want seeker uh, heavy revolver actually. This gives me crowd control. Enemies touch me, they die. Heavy revolver, good damage. And efficient. Second stomach, extra feet. Second stomach. Shit! Big dogs have to die. Keep firing. Don't ever stop firing. Now suck up all the HP, kill big dog. On the bright side, <laughs> these enemies fire very slow moving projectiles, which means that we can kind of keep them locked down for a long time by using. I, the thing is, is that at the beginning of this level, I did not want to use this because it would have sucked the big dogs into me. I needed to keep them away from me so they didn't jump at me. I don't have hammerhead, I would have died. So by keeping my distance and not I think I was fine. Oh. You know what? Just seeker pistol him. 
automatic homing is kind of nice. Seeker pistol this guy. Actually, wait. Lightning pistol him. Because we're going to want to take the seeker pistol with us, I think. So let's use this now. Get some value out of lightning ammo. Actually, not that bad. But I want this gun. Kill him. Heavy machine freaking gun? Let's go! Oh, we're gonna destroy this boss, I think. Hopefully. Heavy auto crossbow! Okay, let's upgrade. Holy shit. Um, also, come to me! We wanna open this after a while. Come on. Dude, heavy auto crossbow is going to destroy this boss and the heavy machine gun is gonna destroy the enemies that we fight later. This is excellent. So we wanna put the chest like right there so we can get ammo for it after we destroy some of the, um, the, 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 the generators. Dude, this is, this is good. I have a good feeling. Got him. I'm, I'm just holding down right click, baby. We used like no ammo. And we can get recycle gland, shotgun shoulders, extra feet, or lucky shot. Dude, give me recycle gland, heavy machine gun. We will never run out of ammo ever again. Until we do. You're dead. <laughs> Most hit bullets become ammo? What do I care? Just hold down the button and shoot. Let all the loot come to us as we kill things. Enemies that touch us die. This is a good freaking run. I think we can loop on this one, maybe. We have lots of ways, oh, that's dumb. Lots of ways of doing a ton of damage. And we can be really safe from bullets. He died. <laughs> he did some damage to me, but he did die. Let's not die ourselves though, max HP. Done it. Level ultra, done it. Bam, bam! Energy sword, don't care. Telekinesis holds your projectiles. Push nearby enemies away when not using telekinesis. Yes. Give me monster style. I'm still gonna be holding the button down a lot, but when I'm not holding it down. You, you gotta, you gotta go, dude. Like, their projectiles can't even get to me anymore. They're so slow. You guys suck. Also, don't even shoot them, you know? Is that a bazooka? Was that an auto bazooka or just like a regular bazooka? Uh-oh. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty good spot for them to be in. Hold up. The explosion didn't kill you? I have max bolts, nearly max bullets. Also, that is totally a bazooka. Stop shooting him. Uh, we're probably going to activate IDPD here. Why are they not shooting each other? Come on, shoot. You're only gonna kill a man. There we go, they're slowly dying now. Come to me. 
Pam, pam, pam. You know what I need to fucking do? Oh. Be very careful. Just do that. There we go. Now I can get in there. Bam! Full ammo. Full HP. No strong spirit. That is something that is definitely uh, lacking on this run, I will admit. Everything else, though, is like, dude. Oh. Gotcha. How are we doing this well on this run? In which I'm like, I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna like eyes. <laughs> that bullet was curving a lot. You know what? All right, you guys gotta go. Thank you. Let's get in there. We can probably get these guys. I love that sound effect. There's the vehicle. Oh, that's why the um, the van is moving. The van is moving because I'm not using telekinesis and it's being pushed away. That explains that. Wrong gun. Uh, sawed off shotgun, heavy assault rifle, plasma gun, lightning hammer, flame cannon, no thank you. We've got our guns of choice. Heavy slugger, no thank you. We have nearly full fucking ammo. Is Eyes my favorite now? Eyes is definitely up there in the tier now. Oh, it's gonna be so nice against Mom not having to worry about half the shit that Mom puts out there. Like, I'm not gonna have to worry about the, uh, the just waves of bullets that are freaking impossible to dodge. Like, watch this. Now, come here. Come here, Mom. I think we got Mom. Careful of the van. All right, just, just push him away. You just hold the button down. Oh, that was close. Um, I did get him though. I'm at full health. Basically full capacity on ammo. Like we're a little low on like two things. That little low being we're now 11 bolts shy. Oh no, now we're full. <laughs> Like, the thing that gets me on these runs is half the time, I just run out of freaking ammo. We can kill enemies by running into them, we suck them into us, they can't shoot us. Eyes, you are a good character. You also make the most delightful noises. Do I think Nuclear Throne or Gungeon is more difficult? If you're just if you're just looking to win a run of Gungeon, like kill the throne, it's not that bad. It's not that hard to do. Um, Gungeon for me is easier, but that's just because I have more hours in it. I only have like a hundred hours in in Nuclear Throne. I have a thousand hours in Gungeon. You know, that's gonna matter. I love that. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, dog. I still don't know if the dog is actually gonna be able to hurt me, so let's just kill him at range. Uh, sl uh, Salamander probably will hurt me. Oh shit, that was very close. Man, being able to push those shots away makes such a huge difference. Being able to suck all of, <laughs> being able to suck makes such a huge difference. Being able to suck the ammo towards you makes a huge difference. Like I'm actually able to get all of the drops, which is fucking amazing. Ultra crossbow.
Ultra crossbow. Ultra crossbow. I'm gonna take half a second to look up the damage difference between those two guns. Because I have no freaking idea. So the heavy auto crossbow does 55-0 damage. The ultra crossbow deals a lot, of, a lot of weapons to cycle through. It deals 45 damage, but it uses one ammo. The Ultra Crossbow also can destroy wall tiles. Okay, so if I need to like make a safe space at the beginning of the level, I can just kind of like do this. Oh, we have to take this. Oh, we have to take this. That is so good. Like you can you can be safe just by just by like making a hole for yourself. So like a level begins, I just do this and then bam, I have a, I have a, like a, a space to stand in. Oh, that is so unbelievably useful. And honestly, I'm using the heavy um, machine gun right now because I get ammo back and it does a ton of damage. It kills enemies in one shot. Crossbow steel does good damage. I just have to be careful that I don't overuse it, you know? But the fact that it destroys tiles is freaking awesome. I can make holes for myself. I can get in there and actually kill enemies that normally are a problem. There's the van. I know I destroyed the van first, but I kind of had to. He, he reflected my bullet! I will admit it uses a ton of rads though. I'm not even at full rads right now. And I'm gonna use it again. It's gonna be hard to keep it keep it um, stocked on ammo, I think. But if I just if I just rely more on the no switch. If I rely more on the um, on the heavy machine gun, I think we'll be fine. Uh, I think I activated the portal. Yeah, I activated the portal, so we can we can do portal stuff. It's all going into the portal. Stop it. Yeah, it's like Hammerhead, but in gun form. It's actually kind of neat. So all the rads got sucked into the portal. That's why I didn't get a uh, full rad capacity back. Uh, I don't think I want a hat because I've I've never double looped. I think I have a chance of double looping. What do I care if enemies have one HP? I freaking kill them instantly. None. Dude, I, I think I have a chance of like double looping if I don't screw this up. Also, it's so nice to just make a, a, a safe spot for you at the beginning of a level. Insanely valuable. I didn't get a chance to pick, to pick up Hammerhead. I don't need it. Like, look at that! Look at that safe spot I created for myself. That is freaking awesome. Uh, like, <laughs> it's like, I don't wanna be here anymore. Uh, I don't wanna be here anymore either. We got, we got, gotta kill him, gotta kill him. Oh, the bullets were shooting bullets. That's why there were so many bullets on the freaking screen. I was wonder wondering what was happen there, happening there. No, I didn't kill the van. That's okay. No, you cannot level down. Luckily. So I, so the the rad meter is just for ultra we weapons right now. You know what? I got a double kill with that, that's awesome. I should just, I should not be afraid of just popping off a couple of crossbows to make a hole. Never be afraid of the holes, the holes are good. So somewhere I activated the hyper crystal, that's okay. Like as long as I have full rad capacity, use some use some of those crossbows. I've already got the uh, the van.
Got to do that. Oh, he died to contact damage, you piece of host. I can hear the hyper crystal. I've never heard that or paid attention to that before, but it makes noises. It's like destroy this puppy and everyone every enemy that we kill that drops uh, an ammo canister we can just pick it up hold right click get sucked right, you know just die there we go this is like the best run I've ever had I think the holes are good <laughs> it's a good quote Holy cow, we can one-shot those guys? That is freaking wonderful. All right, we gotta push. That's not the weapon I meant to have out, but it doesn't matter, because I'm immune to contact damage. Oh my fucking god. I'm not immune to that much contact damage, but... Dude, second stomach. All it takes is two uh, two HP drops, and we're back up to full from anything. Just trying to get um, the van to spawn. There we go. Where is it? There it is. Might as well, right? Full ammo capacity still, nearly full health. Not quite there, but we're getting there again. Oh, you know what? Against the green dogs, I gotta let go of the of the the, uh, the telekinesis. Because if I let go of telekinesis, they'll get pushed back. That's the secret. We we have full everything, full ammo, full HP. We're a little low on on rads. That's it. Let's just kill, like, everything. Oh. Just kill everything, why not? Uh, well, like, no! There was a guy with an energy sword! Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. Damn, 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 damn. Why am I killing the van? You get drops and it's pretty easy to kill it. And we only use like five bolts from it. And we get th potentially three drops, which could be HP. That was a sweet ass freaking run. I loved that run. Dude, eyes is so good when you can just pull enemies towards you. They die from contact damage. You have um, scarier face for lower enemy HP. That was wonderful. Um. It sucked that I got one shot by this Joker, but I, I don't think I ever once saw Strong Spirit. I never once saw Strong Spirit, so I could not pick it up. You know, I would have loved to have, you know, exchanged that for uh, back muscle, because we ended up not needing back muscle. Hell, I would exchange it for um, most hit bullets become ammo, because we never were not at full ammo. I mean, maybe that's why we were never at low ammo. Uh, but yeah, that was a fantastic run. I just wish that I had strong spirit or this guy wouldn't kill you with the energy sword because he does a ton of freaking damage. Slepner, thank you for the bit. So for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Nuclear Throne. And for everyone else, what do we do now? I don't know what game Articulate wants to play yet, if they want to play anything. I might just do another run, because that was a hell of a lot of fun. I'm going to take a quick second, though. I'm third. That's pretty nice. Loop three. Loop three. Loop three. Loop three with 988 kills? What? Loop one, loop two, loop seven with 365 kills. Is this even, like, a possible thing? Loop five, loop five, loop five. How do you... 
Oh, no, no, this isn't loop five. This is area five. I'm an idiot. These guys died on the next floor. I died on, um, question mark. Wait, when, where did I die? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, I, I understand how to read this now. This is the loop number on the right. I died on loop one, area three dash one, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to read this fucking thing. Yeah, that's a good run. Question mark because the vault was open. That's right. I was trying to make my way to the the vault teleporter when I died, so maybe that did count as a question mark. Right. So I was in three dash two, I think. How do you get sixteen hundred kills in three dash two? I guess he took a crown that spawned more enemies, and that's how you get the high score. Anyways, good run.